hello youtube welcome to our own school my name is satendra and in this video i am going to show you how to model a dc generator in simulink so with basically when a moving coil is put into a magnetic field it produces a emf and if the coil is uh, if the path is complete so it will produce a current also so this has like uh, in this uh, picture here the field is produced by this south and north magnets and if we move this coil here this rectangular coil with the help of some turbine or some other means so it will produce a emf and this emf will be noted here and if we provided here some load so a current will flow so uh, for many types of the dc generators i have uh, shown in shown here uh, two types uh, shunt type and compound type in the shunt type the instead of having the magnetic uh, uh, fixed magnetic poles we have some electromagnets here and these electromagnetic the electricity for these magnets will get from the same supply from the armature here so that kind of uh, arrangements are there there are few more types of the dc generators are also there so but uh, let's start i think uh, you know, let's try to simulate these models in uh, matlab simulink environment so here i have a complete uh, separately excited dc generator model and uh, just to save time i have already prepared this model you can download the or download the file from the link given in the description box or just mail me i will give it to you okay now uh, i will explain you each element of this block this uh, models uh, starting from every thing here like uh, the basic heart of this model is dc machine so let's try to understand and uh, we will look for what where i can find it dc machine here so just go here semi space then sim power system here you will find everything regarding electrical power systems yeah so for the machines you will go here and you will find a dc machine here so let's say i just uh, drag here it here so i'll just explain here what this uh, what the terminals are here so this dc machine is provided the simulink provide this dc machine uh, we can use it as a motor or generator both so i'll tell you how to use it uh, as a generator and motor so let's start uh, like uh, the first terminals are this f shows the fuel terminals a shows the armature terminals and tl this is the torque uh, input and m is the measurement in the m you will get the four quantities as i have uh, mentioned here in the first quantity you will get speed then uh, armature current then field current then torque produced by the motor and in the tl you need to input the torque or uh, if you want to use it as a generator you need to put your uh, torque here okay and uh, you can also provided uh, provide here instead of torque you can also use it as a wind terminals you know also you know as you can put the rpm here if you want to input the speed then you can also do that yeah you need to select the speed only if you need if you select the speed it will change to the speed w okay so you, now you will uh, input the speed in the rpm so this is about uh, dc machine you can change the parameters of the dc machine from here there are some you know uh, already configured parameters are there you can change the wound and permanent magnet type and uh, there are some other settings can go here okay so this is about the dc machine okay uh, hi yes uh, if you want to use this dc machine as a generator then you need to put the torque the input in the negative with the negative sign if you put it positive sign then it will work as a dc motor okay so just remember this thing now why it is separately excited because i am providing the field here it is by the separately separate battery okay now coming from here i have put a put it a load here in the series with this and there is a, a current measurement a, a meter kind of thing so it will measure the current and i'll get the reading here and i am also measuring the voltage across this load okay with the help of the voltage meter measurement here so it will give me the voltage and 
from the measuring uh, uh, terminal of DC machine I am getting all the other parameters of the machine ok so let me run it ok before running it I will tell you one of the most uh, you know people do the mistakes and I get a lot of queries whenever you use any any element from this sim power system library you need to put something called here something called power GUI you need to put it here anywhere in your model ok you need to put it ok otherwise it won't work so it is just a cautionary thing if you are running these things so just put a power GUI block here so now I'm going to simulate it and we'll see the results okay try the results see what are the results here okay the first one is the armature current which get stabilized at the 4 ampere and the other one is the voltage level which get stabilized at the 25 volts okay now I will read the parameters of uh, my machine here so first the speed the speed get stabilized at 40 rpm and my current uh, the field current or oh sorry armature current get stabilized at minus 4 ampere why it is negative because it is working as a generator In the field current it is almost very it is very negligible 0.415 I guess okay somewhat uh, like that then I got torque here you know why this torque is like this because initially the machine will get a start and I am providing a torque of minus 3 so will it, it will get finally it will get stabilized at minus 3 here okay because it was initially the machine as uh, machine was at uh, uh, stop state and uh, if I provide the torque so it will get okay done. so I think uh, this is uh, enough for this video and uh, see you in the next one please do like my video if you liked it and uh, mail me your queries uh, if you have some I'll try to resolve them and uh, okay uh, see you in the next one thanks a lot for watching the video